Howdy everyone! Morning! I think we should show you just one more part of Cambodia. We've been backpacking now for almost three weeks. It's been three weeks. And the review on the bags is it's going well, nothing is broken, everything is still fitting. Everything Very impressed. Still feels good. Like the zippers are still feeling good. Yeah, and we bought these off eBay. So I'm pretty impressed. Seriously gonna miss this mode of transportation. <laughs> got to our little small village where we're going to be spending the next couple of days. It's called Bante Chama. I hope I'm not butchering that name. <laughs> but we have dropped our bags and we've decided to go for a walk around the village. It's a very small village, so very local. We're staying at a homestay, which we'll show you a bit later. But we've just come up with Tim. He is a volunteer who... You said you volunteered with Go Eco. Like, I, I booked through Go Eco. And stayed a month, loved this it. Was back in 2014. Back in 2014, loved it. Then came back six months later, were you saying yeah, about that? Yeah, six months later. Never left. He's yeah. been here for a year and a half yeah. volunteering, so it's incredible. And we're on a little bit of an Instagram mission around the village. Hopefully see some awesome sights and take some good photos. cutting through a local's backyard and we think we found a little hidden secret gem. This is really awesome. Found like a, a temple that looks like it's in ruins. I think we can investigate a bit more. Like some of the locals have just come to try and keep this temple together. Very just makeshift, keep it all up. This is really awesome. This is a morning I wasn't expecting. This is like a temple you wouldn't find in any of the guidebooks. We just, Tim has been here many times and he was just like, I found this when I was just wondering. I don't know if you guys ever watched the 90s shows, Legends of the Hidden Temple. I feel like this would be the temple that it was based on, just in the middle of nowhere. We're literally walking through like waist high bushes, hopefully there's no snakes. Hello! Hello. <laughs> Just arrived at our homestay where we're going to spend in the next couple of nights. So yeah, we're pretty much doing a homestay, which means this is just a local person's house that's converted some of their rooms, so volunteers can come stay here. Pretty awesome. You ready? This is our abode. This is just literally floor, bed, mosquito net, and if you have a look out, there's like a chicken coop out there. <laughs> so local. I love doing the homestays. This is going to be a good couple of days. It's going to be rough, but it's going to be worth it. So yeah, we're here in this area of Cambodia doing the Temple Preservation Project. And uh, pretty much here at the Temple Preservation Project, they want to pretty much preserve, clean up and rebuild the temple. They can get to world heritage status because then they can get some funding for the temple and hopefully bring more tourists to this area. Yeah, we're kind of going to like check out the temple tonight. Fingers crossed we get an epic sunset because I do see storm clouds coming. And then tomorrow we'll do volunteering. Yes. afternoon and we've just come to check out the temple to see some of the tasks that the uh, volunteers are doing but we're just gonna go for a little bit of casual work but Take it the, easy. at the moment they have to cut down a lot of the grass which is one of the tasks and they're not doing that tomorrow so I'm glad we came today so we can show you guys because they need to clear the temple so that you can actually walk around and see it because it's the wet season so so much is growing so you like literally couldn't even walk to the temple if they let it grow so that's why they've cut it all and now they're burning it all off Ah, oh, I seem to have found some cheeky volunteers having a break. <laughs> Just come across an awesome tree that's pretty much growing like symbiotically with the wall. It's so awesome. Just getting our bearings around the temple, so we're going for a bit of an explore. It's uh, oddly strange walking around a temple and not having like a million tourists around there with you. What is Definitely a cool hangout point for the volunteers. What an awesome place to volunteer in. It's so fun just like climbing around and exploring this insane temple. Volunteers. 
tearing nature goals right now. <laughs> this is like the best workspace ever. <laughs> Alrighty, we've decided to end our temple tour by watching the sunset. I can hear a Buddhist monastery over there praying at the moment. Jess, how do I get to you? Jess is just over there enjoying the sunset too. And I'm doing a little bit of a time lapse. That is the beauty we are looking at at the moment. It's actually so nice just to sit here. We can just hear nature around us. It's now quiet, the monks have stopped, and it is so nice just to stop and just take it all in. We've been sitting here for like 20 minutes. We've probably got another 40 minutes to go, and it's just, I think this is the most relaxed I've been on this entire Cambodia trip so far. So I'm taking this in and enjoying it. <laughs> Just come past the monastery and we've noticed the monks have uh, laid out their dress to be dried for the morning. Just getting the mosquito net ready for bedtime. We've had such a relaxing day. We have no Wi-Fi, no internet out here. So apologies if the vlogs are a little bit late, but it has been so nice just like walking around, taking photos. Steven's been practicing his photography and stuff, chilling by the temple. It's a very chilled out area here, very much needed. And tomorrow we're gonna be finding out way more about the actual volunteering side of the temple. Um, but we were just cheeky and had a bit of a, a chill out at the temple. Alrighty guys, we're jumping into bed, waking up early to watch the sunrise, but thanks so much for watching. We will see you tomorrow. Night, guys.